Hello everybody, and welcome to a brand new series. Today we are playing a game called Grow Home. Now, I didn't know much about this game before it came out, and now that it's out, I decided to give it a little bit of a try. I played the first few minutes of it, and it was an awful lot of fun. So I figured I would just, you know, restart. Um, brand new game, I only played about 15 minutes or so. And take you guys along with me on the journey. This game, from what I've seen of it, is very cute, and it's basically a climbing simulator. And with no further ado, let's just get right into it, because I think it's much better to see it with your own two eyes than have me try to explain it to you. So let's overwrite a few minutes that I played. And we'll just start fresh. So from what I can tell, there isn't much of a story. Um, this is about all the story it shows, is that there, you're looking for a star plant, as it just told you. And you find this pretty little island with the star plant on it. right there there's the star plant and that's basically what we're gonna be climbing throughout the entirety of the game and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment but we play this little fella called bud who just hopped out of there which stands it just said on the screen it's something like botanical utility droid I believe but uh, we just do have to explore this grow that star plant to 2,000 meters and harvest seeds for return to earth I don't know anything about the harvest seeds for return to earth I, th I think the seeds might be these little crystals here is what they're calling seeds but these little uh, crystals I found around and when you gather them it keeps adding 1% to your crystals and there's those red boxes for 10, 20, 40 and whatever other the, the uh, percentages were and I assume those are abilities you unlock from those but we'll find out pretty shortly here I'm sure anyway so there's another crystal and I actually really quite enjoy collecting these crystals which is kind of strange I don't normally like collectibles in games but something's just very um what's the word I'm looking for here very fulfilling about collecting those crystals it, it feels like progress and it's uh has like really great response when you pick them up the bud making his cute little noises man this island is so pretty I love the art style in this game it's really quite beautiful it's, uh, I think, I think they call it voxel? No, voxel is more when it's boxy. It, it's very hexagony, and I, I like the way it looks. These flowers right here, that one I just grabbed the fall flower. Um, as you can see, you can use them almost as an umbrella or a parachute to make you, uh, fall slower. But slowly over time, they run out. And so you need to replenish them pretty frequently. And I didn't need to use them that much there. I was just trying to show you the uh, mechanic behind them. Anyway, as I know from my few minutes I played through this game, there's a little crystal right here underneath this ridge. And so I'm collecting that. And then... This right here, I never got a chance to use one in the few minutes I played. But I believe it to be... See, yeah, a handy point-to-point -point teleporter. Um, activate additional telerouters to travel to travel by Wi-Fi. So I guess that's almost like a checkpoint. Is that is that a sheep underneath there? I I'm pretty sure that's a sheep. Hi, Mr. Sheep. You look a little stuck, friend. Can I help you out? These rocks. Yeah, I am having some trouble moving them. Well, you know what? Screw you, sheep, Ben. You can be doomed to your existence inside those rocks for the rest of forever. Another crystal. And you know what? Speaking of moving rocks, I wonder. I wonder if there's anything interesting underneath. It's like a little cave or something. Well, I'll move a couple and see. I'm hearing the jingling the crystals make. Maybe there's some crystals underneath here? Oh, yeah, it's all blue. I think I saw a crystal. Yeah, I've definitely seen a crystal right here. And it is hard to move around in here. Did I get it? I can't tell. No, I didn't get it yet. There we go, got it. Man, I am all kinds of stuck in here. Where am I? Oh, man, I am. Whoa, it's still kind of blue. Oh, is there another crystal underneath here? Yeah, there's one right there. So let's go ahead and grab it. All right. 6% of the crystals. All right. With no further ado here, let's go ahead and start climbing up this mountain. 
Another crystal. Gotta go after them crystals. Crystals for days. Okay, I have another fall flower. Let's go ahead and begin our journey up. So I figured how I'd do this series is I would break it up into 20 minute episodes and uh, upload it that way. Uh, I don't know what you guys think about the 20 minute episodes. If Tell me tell me what you think about that link in the comments. If you think it's just right or want me to do a little bit more, a little bit less. Because I mean, I'm just down for whatever you guys want. So here we go. Up here. And so these right here uh, are little shoots. And when you stick them into islands like this, it pulls the nectar-looking stuff out of them, and it causes the star plant to grow. And if you remember, one of the goals was to get the star plant to 2,000 meters. So that's how we're going to go about doing that. And so we pulled that up into there. And we're actually going to climb on top of this island right here and see what it's all about up here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was... That thing shot me way up. I guess those, I guess those leaves are like springboards or something. That was crazy. Alright. Let's, let's actually test that. Let's try a different leaf. That would make sense. I mean, they, they seem kind of springy. Yeah, those, these are definitely springboards, these leaves. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and grow this one as well. Ride into the nectar. Plop! Just like that. And our star plant's now at 120 meters. Rather convenient that it grows in increments of uh, tens. I don't know if it's exactly ten, but it's an increment of tens. Cool, another crystal. Ooh, another crystal. Come on now. Be my friend. Let's go on an adventure, Mr. Crystal. Alright, cool. Got another one of those. And let's head out this way. Oh, will the star flower last? Oh, will it last? Yeah, it's definitely gonna last. Alright, cool. I'm assuming there's fall damage in this game, but I'm kind of wondering because at the beginning of the game, it seemed like you just fell straight from your ship and just landed on the earth and were fine. I wonder if that's supposed to be a sign that there's not fall damage, or if there is actually fall damage. Because, I, I mean, the I would say that the fall flowers wouldn't exist if there if you couldn't take fall damage. But even if you can't take fall damage, you probably don't want to fall down lower than your current progress. So I don't know. We might have to test that at some point if there is indeed fall damage or not. All right, got another one of these telerouters, I believe is what they called them, or uh, teleporters, opened. And there's another little island filled with its sweet nectar for this plant, so let's... There's a little chute. Let's jump down to this chute right here. There we go. And let's launch off here. Get the nectar out of this plant right here. I'm actually going to hook it a little bit higher. Just make my climb up to the top of this plant a little bit easier. I don't know if there's any specific reason to climb on top of these plants, but uh, sometimes there are crystals on them from what I've seen, so I uh, made a habit of it because I like collecting little crystals. And indeed, I was right. There were a couple of crystals up here. Oh, we're at 10%. Yay! So now we have a zoom cam. We can now have increased camera control. So if I click the right stick... Oh, check that out. I can zoom out. Can I zoom in further? No, I can just zoom out and zoom back to normal. Okay. I guess that's fine. And there's another little island that way. So we could use a little shoot right there and get that island. Oh, was there a fall flower on here? Yes, there is. I noticed my fla fall flower is a little bit low. That little backpack right there seems to tell me how much fall flower I have left. So whenever that gets low, I need to always remember to grab a new one. Wait, is that two separate islands over there, or is it just one? It kind of looks like it may be two separate islands. Because it looks like they're two separate nectar pools. 
I don't know if it's actually nectar, but that's just what I call them, nectar pools. All right, let's grab on here. And pull ourselves over there. I noticed there was a little shoot this direction. I could probably use. Oh, man, this feels like a dangerous climb right here. Oh, man, hold on tight, Mr. Bud. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, that is not holding on tight. Woo, fall flower saved my butt there. Woo, woo, woo. Uh, that was close. Whoa, 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 grab on, grab on. Woo. All right, I got a hold of it. And we're going to connect ourselves to this island. Yup. And we're pulling up. Whoa, is that going through the rocks? Wow. Oh, man, it's popping all the way out at the top. Cool. So, wait, if I look over here now. Yeah, there's just a giant island right there that it's pierced through. How neat is that? This game is so cool. Let's get a new fall flower from this little island right here. And are there any crystals? I'm, I'm hearing a crystal, but I'm not seeing one. I'm hearing the little twinkling they make. Oh, here it is. It's just hiding from me over, off here to the side. Gotcha. Got to get that crystal. All about that crystal. Let's use this little springboard right here. Man, that was quite a boost. Those things are quite handy. I'm not sure if there were any more little islands down here. I don't think there were. Oh, cool. Is that water? I believe that's water. Yeah, it's, it's making the water sound and everything. It's got to be water, right? Oh, no, no. Man, sometimes I get myself in trouble grabbing those crystals. All right, let's climb up to the side of this rock face. You know, I've been hearing it most of the game, but I wasn't sure what it was, but it seems to be getting louder. There's like a, a roaring almost. You hear that? It's like a grumbling or maybe a snoring. It's a really strange sound. It's It reminds me of something. Like maybe a well, maybe? Maybe there's a giant sea well in the sky. That's the only logical thing that could be, right? Sea, sea well in the sky. Alright, here's a crystal. Alright, see well in the sky and be quiet. Now, now that I've noticed it, it's like I can't stop hearing it. We'll see well in the sky. Anyways, check that thing out. What in the world? Man, now that I've noticed the see well in the sky, it is just sounds like it is never shutting up. Look at that. It's floating. Whoa, check that out. It's a little bird. Hi there, little fella. You look scared or something. Little sea lord in the sky messing with you? Here. You know what? I like you. Oh, man. I just fell over. Like a little... Gosh, stop being a little drunk robot. He, he moves like he's drunk. I mean, he really does. Just the way this little flea float... Free flowing. Those are the words I was looking for. Thanks, brain. His free flowing movement. Oh, my gosh. Am I carrying the bird? <laughs> The bird just looks so confused. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this bird. He has no idea what's going on. Oh man. Oh, your name's Paul. I'm gonna call you Paul Bird. So I'm assuming since that little pink thing was flying, we can probably pull him right out, can't we? Right? Come on now, pop out. Yeah, we can pull him right on out. I'm going to give this flower as a gift to you, Paul, for being a beautiful little bird. Enjoy it. Treasure it always. He just looks so confused. <laughs> All right, Paul, I'm moving on. Oh, cool, a little crystal. I'm going to gather that. And I'm hearing a lot of little twinkling sounds. I'm still hearing twinkling. Oh, there's another one up there. Let's get it. Oh, I'm going to have to pull that rock out. See what's behind there. 
this game, it just makes me want to continue. You know what I mean? Like, it, something about it, it just drives me forward. It's, it's really, it's really fun. It's, uh, the, the exploring aspect of it, almost. It's just great. Ooh, man, that looked like a hard fall. Oh, man, this cave is just filled with crystals. Crystals for days! Dang. Alright. There we go. Once. Whoa, these rocks, when I land on them, are they falling? Yeah, it looks like it's falling. Uh oh, oh, no, I'm falling now. Hold on, maybe I can use this to my advantage. Not really. No, that's not very helpful. Well, I really do want to gather these crystals. I don't, I don't want to just leave them behind because something tells me I'll probably never come back here. Just because, you know, I'll keep heading, moving up. There's no reason to come back here. All right. Man, that one looks like it's going to be a hard one to get right there. Oop. Th is this stone just going to keep on traveling down towards the earth? Seems like it. Yeah, it's really low at this point. All right, I'm going to try to get these last two crystals, and then we're going to move on and see what was behind that boulder we saw a little bit earlier. So let's climb on up here. Uh-oh. Totally missed there. Here we go. Crystal a day keeps the doctor away. Every time I grab one of those crystals, it seems like it makes me fall. I wonder how this bud character works, how he grips some of these walls. Do those little claws, they dig into the earth? Is that what's going on? Because he seems to stick really well. I wish I could climb that well. I'm envious of this robot's climbing abilities. Alright, I see the blue shining, shininess of the crystal, but I can't really look away from the wall due to the way the climbing mechanic works. Because if I look away, he can't grip on. Because he seems to only grip where you're looking. Uh, where, where is this crystal? Oh, no, I fell. No. Well, there's another crystal. I don't want to leave behind a crystal, especially not this early. Well, shoot. Keep going, missing. There we go. Oh, I am just 1% away from the next ability. Aw, oh, man, that just makes me want to get this one more. But you know what, guys? I'm going to have to do it here in the next episode because our 20 minutes for the day are just about up. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, uh, please leave a like if you like the video. Comment, you know, tell me what you think about it. And if you really liked it, subscribe for more content. I should be uploading here pretty frequently here in the future, maybe even daily. So stay tuned for more content. I appreciate you guys coming and viewing my video, and I will see you next time. This way. Is this to the right one? I think this is the way. It, I, I'm getting the feeling this isn't going to reach. Something about it. Come on, keep keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. Don't stop. Don't stop. It is definitely slowing down. You are so close. Just give it give it 110%. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. You are so close. Just give it a little bit more. You are not going to stop right here. You're not going to stop. It is wiggling on it. It is touching it. It is touching the end. 